Okay, the assignment in my class is to write your own template for a Joomla website. And to create your own template for a Joomla site, usually you need to have start off with a design. So in Photoshop here, I did a design in Photoshop. I laid out some colors and some header area and, and filled in some color areas and made some text and everything's in layers. So I did this little Photoshop design. And I'm not going to show you how to do that in this um, tutorial. But suffice it to say that I have this design and then I copy certain pieces into a folder and I'll show you some of the pieces that I have. Let's see here. In this, here are some of my pieces that I have. I've got the logo and then I have little strips, little tiny strips that I'm going to use to create my template. And you can see here that just little graphics in little pieces of the site. So instead of you know, using the whole header, all I needed was just this little piece of it that I'm going to tile horizontally that will make the header. Okay. So anyway, I've got a graphic design. That's what that's the reason I wanted to show you this. I've got my graphic design and I've got some images. Now what I need to do is I need to write the HTML page for it, right? and the um, CSS file to do the styling. In Joomla, Joomla templates are um, created with um, PHP and CSS. But to start with, I'm just going to try to create the CSS to work with an HTML file. So, um, uh, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do is how to work with cascading style sheets to handle the style and how to write um, some HTML which then we're later going to convert into our PHP file for our Joomla template. Okay, so I'm using this program here called Komodo Edit, and I'm going to be working with two files. Um, here's my sample folder. I'm going to have an index.html file, and then I'm going to have a folder called CSS, and inside there will be my CSS or my style sheet, and I have it here called template.css because eventually this is going to turn into a Joomla template that we can install into a Joomla website and it'll style our website and make it look really cool. Okay, so using Komodo Edit, this is a free program. I can just hit File, New, uh, File, New, New File, and I'll click Web here, and then I can choose, let's say, XHTML and it opens up a new HTML document and you'll see right here there's some opening stuff here at the top right? S opening statement letting you know what type of um, uh, XHTML data you, that is going to be used what kind of um, oh I don't even know this is the opening statement that refers back to uh, what kind of what version you're working with right so XML version 1.0 and then the HTML W3C Commission all that stuff I don't even know all that stuff I just leave that up there then here's the basic HTML format you've got the head tag right here you've got the body tag right there and then the end HTML so this is the open HTML tag and this is the end HTML tag and so the body content goes in here, right, body here, and title goes in here, this is the head, right, title goes in here, my title, right, so head, title, body here. Uh, if, you, if you're not sure about this, then um, you need to go and learn a little HTML, which is not going to be the, the main topic of this tutorial, so I'm going to close that and I'll show you my HTML page here. Now my HTML page is the same thing. This is XHTML and I called it, I saved it index.html and you'll see here in the head area, right, I've got a link tag here, right, so it's uh, link hypertext reference equals and then a path to my CSS file. You can see that CSS forward slash template dot CSS and then um, a couple of parameters here for it and then I close it off I close this link tag off right there right so there that's going to um, open up my style sheet which is in a separate file then in the body of the HTML page I've got four div tags right opening and closing that's the first part this is div ID header and the text says this is my header 
and this is div id content main and this is my main content area div and div id left and div id footer and body and html and when you look at this in um, you open up that file in firefox it looks like this right now okay so there it is and so there is the um, this is there's the header area the main content area the uh, left column area and the footer all in separate areas and this is essentially let's see here that is this folder right here the index.html file and my style sheet which is in here okay Whew. all right so now then we'll look at the style sheet in the style sheet you've got an opening body tag where I lay out some fonts that we'll use and then a div tag here or not a tag but a, a div statement um, with nothing in it and then for the different divs on the HTML page the header div the content main div the left div and the footer div now I've gotten rid of the background color out of the left if I save this file save and I refresh the index page in my Firefox browser you see the colors gone right so if I want to put the color around this area I go to my CSS I, I change I add color or change the look of my web page by editing the CSS so I say background colon pound sign and then I have to put in a hexadecimal color so if I um, if I wanted let's say pure green I would put 00 FF 00 right and then I'm gonna put a semicolon I should end these lines here with a semicolon right there and hit save file save and if I refresh you'll see now there's green in this tag um, so anyway, this is uh, how an index.html, how an HTML file is styled with a CSS file. And this is just the beginning. In the next few um, tutorials, I'm going to add more to the CSS, and I'm going to show you how you can play and arrange the um, look of the web page using Cascading Style Sheet uh, to do so.